How's it going? My name's Connor, and today we're going to be shooting with one of my favorite film cameras. It is the 1970s um, Horizon camera. Shot one. It was made in uh, Soviet Russia back in the 60s and 70s, and I chose it because it has a really unique feature where the lens actually rotates when you take a photo. It has a fixed 28 millimeter lens, and instead of it just sticking it on one focal plane, it actually spans across the entire negative. So instead of 36 shots, I'm getting 21 on a full roll. So we got some company. Still got the shot. So first of all, thank you, Connor, for being here and for joining me for this. For those that don't know you, because obviously, you know, we know each other, we work together all the time, we talk all the time. But for those that don't know you, can you just talk about, like, what you do and how you got started? Because I don't really think that I even know, like, how that happened, how you got into, like, all the things that you do. So you want like the long version or the short version? <laughs> <laughs> in the very beginning, it would be me, probably like five, six years old, using my dad's old MacBook laptop that had a webcam on it. And uh, it had the, what was it called? Like the photo booth app. It was like, you know, on the old Macs, you know, you could take yes. pictures on the webcam. Yes. So I would like put together Lego sets and like some of the Bionicles and stuff. And I would like build stop motion animation like with those like legos and like make little like short movies like that but that was definitely my first experience like really with like video but like fast forward all the way until like high school i had a really amazing uh, video instructor my senior year and so we really didn't have like any good equipment we weren't able to learn too much but i was able to learn a lot with him and see what how he developed his own video production company here in toledo and that was like super inspiring to me to see like, like where the camera can take you because he was talking about all these other countries mm -hmm. that he created like short documentaries with. Um, and, you know, just by having that knowledge of like how to operate a camera, how to tell a story, like he was able yeah. to like do all these great things. And I started like doing freelance work with him like right out of high school. And uh, he's pretty much been like my mentor like to this day and That's I still awesome. work with him, so. That's awesome, yeah. for sure. So what is it, what would you say I know we ask people all the time, but like, what is your title? And what is my title? And what would you say like your official title is? My title. Um, like, what do you do? Um, I'm definitely like, cause I, I don't, I do like every, I do photo, I do video, I do like audio stuff, but like, yeah. I don't know. I recently it's just been like photographer, like video producer, video producer slash photographer. Mm -hmm. But I really want to like, cut the video producer name like i'd much rather be like filmmaker That's you know yes. instead of like video producer yes. like i want to be telling more short stories even though if, even if it is like a commercial or an advertisement or promo like you can still tell like a really powerful yes. like story with a brand you know absolutely and i feel like a lot of people choose to like specialize in one or the other area or they start out in one and go to the other and kind of vice versa whereas my path has kind of always been entangled in both i've always like loved like both like photography like and like filmmaking video making you know all that stuff and i don't know there's been times where i've been i kind of like ebb and flow between the two like i'll be sometimes i'll be more focused in photography for a couple months some other times i'll be more focused in video and i don't know i just kind of bounce back and forth between them all but really it's always like all about just like composition and like lighting for me recently and composition is everything yeah it's like how i see the world <laughs> yeah i think it's good to have multiple things that you do because you get to, you get a chance to actually have that balance of like you know something that you focus on more at a time than yeah. the other thing um so like i know especially with me like i'm the same way like 
I feel like I can't just do one thing. Like I have to be able to do every, like mm -hmm. at least know how to do everything yep. if I'm not doing it Same. myself. So, 100%. It's like a lot of the times when I shoot, I'll just kind of walk around like this. It's almost like a meditation in a way. Just got to walk around and see things through different lenses. One of my favorite film stocks, T-Max 100 with this camera, because um, I love like the super contrasty black and white look. It's always been like one of my favorite uh, films to shoot with. And yeah, I feel like shooting with a panoramic, you can really show off a large scene in a very contrasty way. So you have sort of introduced me to the film world. Mm. What would you say to someone who might also be in the same boat as me, like apprehensive to go out and shoot? Don't think about it too much. <laughs> as soon as you're like, <laughs> I'm just dumb, just don't like, think don't about know. it too much. I was thinking just about it. <laughs> <laughs> just like, like, it's just photography. Like, it's not, it's not surgery. You know, you're not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not life or death. It's just yeah. um, going back to what I was saying earlier. Is um, I know it's not really like your style and what you do with photography, but just like, just go on a walk. Like, go, go to a place that you've never been before. Obviously, a place where like you feel safe, like walk around with your camera and just your film camera, and just take some photos of what you find interesting, just to like get a better feel for the camera. Because you got to like the more you use it, the more you'll more confident you'll get in using it. Do you have like a favorite photo of yours that you've taken? Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be great. Like, oh. Right. <laughs> do you uh, even if it's not like one specific photo maybe like just a series of photos that you've taken at a specific time i no i i actually do have one one favorite photo yeah, yeah. what it, do you can you describe it or yeah and how like is it like, like why is it so special up. to you it'll go right here over my face <laughs> <laughs> um so way back when i was like super fortunate and like blessed to be able to study abroad um in Italy and I use a lot of that time to do a lot of street photography um, with one of my favorite uh, point-and-shoot cameras it's a Nikon L35 AF it's a, one of Nikon's first point-and-shoot cameras which I love because um, there's no you can manually dial the ISO but from other than that it's all automatic so I could just like see a shot and just boom like capture it which I would I love for street photos so I don't have time to mess around with everything and um, so the photo is was taken on like a corner of a street close to a train station there was a lot of people around that time of day kind of like close to golden hour and I saw from afar um, there was this guy with like a big backpack like just like sprinting like towards me and I was like this dude's like definitely late for the train like has like somewhere to be because he's got all this like equipment on his back like sprinting right. <laughs> down. Oh, no. And I was standing like right on the corner of the street, kind of like right on the, you know, edge. So I had a pretty decent like composition already like lined up. And like my only thought in that moment was like, I want to get a photo of like this guy, you know, like in action running like yeah. in the moment. And so in that time I was shooting a lot of vertical photos I don't know why that was just like kind of like a natural reaction to hold that camera was to hold it up vertical and snap the photo so I just held it up I was kind of like active like I was taking a photo of like the top part of the building and as soon as I he like ran by I just went like snip and took the photo and I was like oh that might be kind of cool and I remember looking at it on the light table and I was just like whoa like what else there's a lot more like going on than like what I can see like what I thought it was and um, that exact, I don't know what the shutter speed was, I'm just gonna say like 500th of a second. He, it, it almost looks like he's like holding a bottle that was set on the ground. I mean, it was, there's like an empty beer bottle yeah. that's like set on a post 
And with the way he was running, it looks like his hand is like holding that bottle. Oh. And even more crazy is like right behind him, there's, it looks like a mother with her child. And you can't see the child, but you can see the shadow of them holding hands. And it's like, you see her and like holding a hand, but that's where the image cuts off and you just see the shadow. So then that's on the right side of the photo. So you see this like older guy, kind of probably late 20s or early 30s ish, I don't know running like he's like escaping like running to the left of the screen and you have this like mother and her child like but you don't like see the child it's just, like a shadow and i it almost seemed like after like you know analyzing the photo and making like a bunch of prints in it because i was trying to perfect the print in the dark room it'd be cool if i had it with me um <laughs> um i it was almost like a like escaping adulthood like he's like running like running away from from like wow. life and problems and stuff. And I thought that was like a really, and, it, and it's those things that pop up that like you don't notice them. Like in that moment, it was just like, I was trying to achieve this composition and have some action in the shot. And it turned out to be like so much more than what I like even planned for. And that's what I like mm -hmm. love about like street photos with people in them. Yeah. And I think I, that's what I love like with a lot of your uh, street photography is like, it can be the simplest thing, like a sign or like a bill, like something, but like the, it's something about the way that you shoot it that actually t has context and tells a story and or just makes you think, mm. like you kind of form like your own perspective from it, so. Yeah, that's, I, I like the viewer to kind of come up with their own, like I'll have my own story, like how I just told, but I want the viewer yeah. to, you know, come up with their own idea for like how they see the photo. Mm, like I, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to like <laughs> shove like my view down. Yeah, right. Whatever like else is seeing, I want them to like yeah. create their own reality from it. I was definitely a little nervous because normally I'm the one behind the camera, obviously. I prefer to be behind the camera for a lot of reasons. Number one, I was already really confident with my outfit and I felt really good in it. So I feel like number one, that helped a lot. Uh, number two, really just, I, I feel like it just vibed really well. I feel like it just kind of felt comfortable. like one little aspect is seeing uh, your like reaction to certain photos like oh yeah that's a good one you know it kind of makes you like okay I'm doing something right like I'm doing this you know I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing because sometimes I'm just like am I looking the right way am I doing the right facial expressions you know but the guidance like really helps What really is emphasized now after being in front of the camera is a uh, positive reinforcement and like positive encouragement during the shoot. Because having that like positive reinforcement, like that you're doing a good job um, and that you can tell like you're being truthful about it, it's not, you know, fake, like goes miles. Really, really simple, really basic, essentially, is how I dress, because I just kind of put clothes on and deal with my day. But this is fun, because I get to really, you know, kind of express who I am with, like, the colors that I have. Just have a lot of black t-shirts with graphic design. You know, band t-shirts is pretty much all I wear. Band t-shirts and black jeans, that's, like, my fit. But having something that's a little bit more vibrant um, was pretty fun. Um, and yeah, same with the earring and the chain.
so aside from photography, you are obviously a very talented videographer um, or filmmaker, as you would like to be called. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, do you have like a dream job or project that you would like to work on? I mean, yes, there's a lot of things, though. <laughs> um because my brain is always just i know all over the one place. that one that sticks out one that comes to mind yeah. that you would be like i have always wanted to i would yeah. love to i mean there's yeah one that's always been like on my mind like as i was younger i was always watching like i was into like action sports you know like bmx and skateboarding and mountain biking skiing all that stuff so like i followed really closely like gopro and like red bull media productions um, because they create like some of the highest quality like content when it involves any of those sports. And they've also made some like really amazing like short documentaries around certain athletes and about like, you know, how they develop their skills and all that. So like working, working with a, like being like a director of photography or camera operator, any of that stuff for like a big production on like Red Bull for, for Red Bull media productions would always be like, a dream for me you know that would be super cool but recently i've been just getting more into like short form like storytelling and um whereas i would still love to like work for them um i just like want to get more into really like impactful like meaningful storytelling because that's something i'm still learning on like how to do like i i'm not great when it comes to like writing stuff on paper <laughs> like writing a story mm -hmm. um that's really what I want to do. Same. 100 <laughs> percent. Yeah. I mean, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being willing to sit down and have a conversation with me. And I'm just excited for people to get to know you as a filmmaker and photographer. Yeah.